While Microsoft SQL Server reporting services may be a great reporting solution for some developers, there are many more developers that are already familiar with SAP's Crystal Reports. Did you know that Visual Studio 2010 comes with a free copy of Crystal? You just have to download it. What's more, did you know that Crystal can connect to ADO.NET dataset data sources? This demonstration will show how to create a Crystal Reports BI solution in Visual Studio 2010 that will connect and join multiple multi-value files. The application is self-contained and will use dynamic parameters to filter the data. You can add Crystal Reports to existing projects or create a Crystal Reports specific project. Here we will create a Crystal Reports application project. When building reports in Visual Studio, they use forms and a Crystal Report Viewer control to render the reports for the end user. The same Report Designer tool is available in standalone Crystal, but you need to use something like Crystal Reports Enterprise on a web server to render the completed reports. Here we will stick with Visual Studio. When you install Crystal Reports, the ADO.NET XML data source is not installed. You will need to either do a custom install or add remove features from an already installed application. The ADO.NET XML data source will support data stored as XML or provided from an ADO.NET dataset data source. An ADO.NET dataset data source is a DLL program, much like our data access layers in other demos, that provides methods that return data as datasets. We will use the MVLINKS Crystal dataset provider to make multi-value data available through the FusionWare MVLINKS managed provider. Within the Crystal dataset provider, there is a class called the CCrystal provider that contains the methods that we will be calling. We will use the method appropriate for the number of multi-value files or views that we need combined in our report. For this example, we are going to use the sales order view, which contains single, multi, and sub-valued data, and the product view, which has single and multi-valued data. So we will use the get dataset to dataset name. The crystal dataset provider will require a connection string and then command text for each of the views we need. Both the connection string and the command text can be built using the FusionWare command and connection builder included with the MVLINKS managed provider. Because the underlying sales order file contains over 10,000 records, we want to filter it for our report. We could do this in Crystal, but it is much more efficient to let the multi-value database do what it does best. We can use any multi-value statement that produces a select list to filter the data. You can see that Crystal now makes available not only the single-valued views, but their associated multi- and sub-valued data automatically. We only need to define which parts of the view we need and then add associations between the views that represent different physical files. We will add the sales order, order lines, and product tables to our report. We will only need to create the association between order lines and product as the one between sales order and order lines is automatically created for us. Now that we have our tables selected and relationships defined, the rest of the process is just regular old crystal reports. The origin of the data no longer matters. To Crystal, it's just a bunch of fields that we can use in our report. It's really quite amazing that I can just select any fields from single to multi to sub-valued fields and I don't really have to worry about anything. The MVLINKS managed provider keeps it all straight for me. In this report, I'm going to look at order details including product descriptions from the product file. Because to the report creation wizard they are just fields, I can choose any field or multiple fields to group on. I can summarize on any field too. I can sum the quantity while having Crystal calculate the average sales and cost prices for me automatically. I can do group sorting with special types of ordering like only the top five groups. Again, this is just the Crystal standard report creation wizard absolutely no consideration for the origin of the data is required at this point. There is one gotcha in the Visual Studio version of Crystal Reports. If you create a report using the Report Project Template, the controls used in the Viewer form, Form1.vb, are incorrectly referenced. If you are building the form yourself, this is not a problem. To correct this issue, we will delete the Report Viewer from the form, then remove all references to Crystal Reports. Once this is done, we can re-add the viewer to the form 
and all the references will be done correctly. It's a bit of a nuisance, but it only needs to be done once. This problem with references only exists in the Crystal Reports downloaded and installed with Visual Studio. The full shrink wrap version of Crystal Reports does not use the Visual Studio Report Viewer, so the problem does not exist. All the skills we use in building reports here in Visual Studio apply to the full version also. The same wizards and designer tools are used in both versions. The MVLINKS Manage Provider, along with the Crystal Dataset Provider, is available for most flavors of multi-value data. Every aspect of our Manage Provider is designed with standards as our foundation. This allows the MVLINKS Manage Provider to work with all .NET tools and applications with no special tools or controls required. The parameters we filled in when defining the data source do not retain their values at runtime. We need to set the default values for these parameters or we will need to refill them in each time we preview the report. Before releasing our report application, code can be added to Form 1 that will prompt for values and automatically fill in the parameters for us. This can let us do user-driven parameters and reports. FusionWare's MVLINKS Managed Provider is designed to work across all .NET technologies. You can build a web application with Silverlight that uses Microsoft and third-party controls one day, the next you can build a business intelligence application with Crystal Reports or SQL Server reporting services, or an ASP.NET application, or even a transformation with SQL Server integration services using the same connections, methods, and tools. The code to programmatically set parameters, as you see displayed here, is simple and done by the parameter name as required by the MVLINKS Crystal Dataset Provider. You can create dynamic reports with as much or as little user interaction as you want. Before you can execute the Crystal Report project, Crystal requires that the CPU type of the build must be defined. Either x86 or x64 is acceptable, but all CPUs will cause a confusing runtime error. Because we did not programmatically set the parameters, the Crystal Report engine automatically prompts for the required parameters. Because we set default values, we don't need to fill in any of the parameter values. Now we can run our application. The form will be launched, the data retrieved, and the report will be presented to us. Note the formatting and totaling. This is all crystal. The source of the data isn't important. Business intelligence against your multi-value data is available right now using industry standard controls and tools and the MVLINKS Manage Provider. Thank you for viewing our Crystal Reports in Visual Studio demonstration using the FusionWare MVLINKS Manage Provider. No special tools were required, nothing but .NET.